So the Core XY 3D printer from Coreality, the Ender 6. And it's an awesome machine with some pre-sliced models. Then after my live stream from last Sunday with an unboxing and first print, I wanted to slice my own models using Cura. And there I found my first problem. There was no profile for the Ender 6. Here on Zachary's 3D Prints, I'll show you which kind of settings to use when using the Ender 6 from Creality. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. And so here it is, Coreality's Ender 6, a Core XY3 printer in limp mode. What is limp mode? Limp mode is not the expected speed. Because a Core XY3 printer, I don't know if you know it or not, is capable printing with higher speeds. A Delta 3D printer and the Core XY are known for their fast printing speed. However, this 3D printer is currently in limp mode because I use a Cura profile from the Ender 5. It's a cubical shape. It has also movement on, on the horizontal axis, but it is not fast. A normal FDM 3D printer like the normal Ender 3, the ANET ET4 or the Prusa that I have there in the corner are all working separately from each other. All stepper motors are working separately from each other. They don't help each other. With the Delta 3D printer, all three stepper motors are working together to get the carriage moving up and down across the whole bed. Here, the Core XY has almost the same kind of principle, the X and Y axis stepper motor are working together to move the carriage around the horizontal axis to get very fast in printing. So Cura settings for your Creality Ender 6. Where to look for and how to configure it for your Ender 6. Well, if you look in Cura uh, 4.8, you won't find any Creality Ender 6 profile. For this video, I use the profile from the Ender 5. The Ender 5 is also the same way built, and for that reason, it's most ideal for this kind of machine. So when you are going to look for add a new printer on Cura, you're going to Creality, and there you select the Ender 5. You give it a name like Ender 6, but be aware, you have to change every time the file name into CE6 instead of CE5. Then, once that is done, you will go to the tab for the building volume. The building volume of this 3D printer is 250 times 250 times 400 millimeters. It is a, a rectangle shaped 3D printer and also Marlin firmware. So, when looking for that, also take heed on the start G code. For the start G code, I took the first part away to get a faster printing speed because it will give you some speed, some acceleration, some jerk settings. And for this kind of print, I took it away. If it is smart or not, I don't know, but I took it away till the G29. And further down. So then I pressed OK and then I went into the first slicer settings. For me it was just a standard draft 0.2 millimeters and the first thing that I looked at was the uh, printing speed because for me that is the most important part for the 3D printer. Standard the Ender 5 was at 60 millimeters per second well, sometimes you can crank it up to 80, maybe 100% if you are lucky, 100 millimeters per second. That's awesome when you can print at that speed. But for my Core XY, I put it on 120 millimeters per second. 
not only that, but also the infill and all, all other things, making sure that everything is printed in the same kind of speed. And then also the temperature, the temperature I choose for my PLA profile, I choose 210 degrees instead of the standard 195 or 200 degrees Celsius. And for the heat bed, I will choose 60 degrees Celsius. So then slicing your model, make sure that everything is further okay as you normally would have for your standard 3D printer. After slicing and putting it on a SD card, which is standard on this 3D printer, then you can start printing. Check when you are going to do that, check how fast your printer is going. Are you happy with the result? Is it printing fast enough? Or should you increase the speed from 100% printing speed to 200% printing speed? That would mean that your printer at 100% is printing at 120 millimeters per second. If you increase the speed to, for example, 200%, that would mean that you are printing with 240 millimeters per second, which is much closer to the speed that I would like to see on a Core XY 3D printer. If it is smart or not, I don't know, but hey, I want to have fast print. And especially when you're seeing a Delta 3D printer printing across the, across the bed, seeing your print rise from almost out of nowhere, then watching your Core XY printer printing at a normal Cartesian style 3D printer, normal 60 millimeters per second. You don't want to have that. When seeing that, it's in limp mode and you don't want to have that. So 120 millimeters per second. And if you're not happy with that printing speed, increase it to 200% millimeters per second. Let's start another print, but now at 200% of the printing speed. So now the Ender 6 is printing. This is a printer profile called Creality Ender 6 with some change settings. I increased the speed with 200% and as you can see, it's printing much differently. So if you are known with the calibration cube, you will get first the inner part, then it goes around and then it's going to start filling the first layer in diagonal shape. So this is a profile from the Corality End of 5 with some tweaked settings. Still 120 millimeters per second. I took away the first part of the start G-code, like mentioned, and also I increased the speed on my machine as well to go from 120 millimeters per second to 240 millimeters per second. And as you can see, it is running very fast. But you can also increase the speed even more. But be aware, if you're going to increase the speed more and more, you will going to see it on the end result finish. So on the outsides, you're going to see some, some little very thin lines. But other than that, if you are printing parts for your 3D printer and you want to have a whole bunch of them, then this kind of way of 3D printing is most ideal to do that. I saw it on the Delta printer how fast something like that can print. But for this occasion, I made a video because this 3D printer is very awesome. I want to do more with Core XY 3D printing as well on this channel. Also, the Delta printers are going to be covered more and more on this channel. And for this occasion, I made a slicer profile to help other people out as well. If you have some problems, if you have some issues with limp mode and their six, then use the mentioned settings. I will mention them again when you are going to add a 3D printer to your slicer within Cura, for example, take the end of five, take the right measurements, 250 times 250 times 400 millimeters, and also remove the first part of the G-code telling the accelerations. And then when you are going to slice models in the normal draft 0.2 millimeters, then check for the printing speeds for 120 millimeters per second, because 120 millimeters and a printing speed of 200% makes 240 millimeters, to my opinion. And so it, you see how fast it, this is printing. It's a start, 
in the future i make more videos about slicer settings slicer profiles not only in cura but also in prusa slicer matter control there are different kind of slicers that you can also add a core xy 3d printer to so to wrap up this video normally i wouldn't make a video so quickly about a brand new 3d printer that i have here well because i was missing the right profile settings within cura 4.8 or 4.7 i decided to make a video about it with the solution that i had for my Corality and the 6. i can imagine that if i couldn't find it that are are also some other people like you that have the same kind of issue so to help you out i made this video to give you a very nice awesome experience with your brand new core xy3 printer from cryality This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by clicking on the link in the description to support this channel on Patreon. Thank you. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store. To support this channel as well please like this video share this video with other people and maybe also some other social media and hey let's make some fun with 3d printing sakuri 3d prints bye bye so finished print you don't see it right that's okay so 